Hi folks, Dave here, AF5DN, and today I'm going to show you how to program your Bofang UV-5R using the USB to serial adapter cable and the software. Okay, here we go. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is to verify the COM port that we're using. And on Windows 7 you go to Devices and Printers and you will find the USB to serial adapter on COM3. We will need to know that. Uh, then we uh, simply open up our software and the first thing you notice is all the question marks. And to change that, the second uh, setting from the right and then pick English and amazingly you can see everything there. Now what I'm going to do is uh, the next uh, show you that you need to change your COM port to COM3 and confirm. Okay so at this point we can just start filling in information or I can read data from the radio. So you use a couple of different ways to do it. You can do control R, you can do select from read from radio or this little icon with the uh, the uh, little arrow on it there. And then you get to this point and you hit read. It's going to pull in the data blocks. Now you'll you'll see that I've done some programming on here already. Reading from transceiver is complete. And there you go. It looks, you can see I've got uh, 25 channels programmed in there. Alright, so let me go through um, the next uh, sequence and actually show you filling in the data and what all they what all they mean. Alright, so for number 25, and, and what I'm doing is I'm filling this in off of a spreadsheet that I per, uh, previously had created. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is select my band, UHF, VHF. Then I put in the receive frequency, and the receive frequency for this repeater is going to be 146720. And you can enter it in without the periods and it blows up. So make sure you put in the decimal point. And then you can click over here. Now by default you'll notice when I clicked over into this field it kept the same frequency. That would be handy if you were programming in simplex frequencies but because we're programming a repeater we need to change the transmit. So my transmit frequency on this one is going to be 146.12 clear this out 146.12 and click out and you've saved it. So the difference there is between 0.7 and 0.1 is the typical offset frequency for most repeaters. Okay so for the CTCSS and the DCS I typically leave them as off. I do not need to hear the tone in order to open the squelch on my radio. However, for this free, this uh, uh, repeater, I do have to transmit a tone to open the squelch on the repeater. And this is a fairly common frequency. And you can, there's a couple different ways. You can, you can select it from the list, or you can just type it in and click out. And you see I have my transmit power at high. My wide narrow is wide. Uh, these typically for most repeaters you will leave off. 
scan add uh, what this is when you turn on the scanning function of the radio and you're in the uh, memory mode uh, it will skip certain uh, memory channels <clears throat> and typically for me the ones that I don't need a, a uh, CTCSS for I also do not scan them that's a personal preference okay so the last thing I need to do here is is give it a name now here's the only thing that you can't do programming from the keyboard all this other stuff you can do programming from the keyboard but the channel name you have to type in using the software so my channel name is WA5CKF now I'm going to show you, you can do this lowercase, WA5CKF, and when I tab or click out, it will automatically convert it to uppercase. Alright, so here you've programmed this piece of software with that frequency. Now one thing I will do is I will go ahead and save this document, because I might want to edit it later. So I'm just going to pick a place and you see there's my bofang.dat file. I'm going to confirm. Now I have this file stored for later use. I don't have to read this off the radio. I could come in here and make changes and then just upload the radio directly from here. Okay, I want to show you some other uh, functions under the other menu. You have some things that you can do here. Let me click the read and show you what I've done on mine. Okay, and you can see the power on message. I simply just put my call sign and that I'm an extra and that will appear <clears throat> on the uh, screen when you first power it on. Now you can also, if you wish, uh, make some changes to the frequency ranges available when you turn it on. I just leave that personally just leave it set at whatever it is at the factory because I normally am going to use this uh, the, chan the memory channels. Alright you also have uh, some channel information okay that's what we're looking at. You also have, now don't get other confused with optional features. Optional features are these things <clears throat> like your uh, talk timeout, default squelch level, uh, your working mode, whether you want channel or frequency. You can set how it looks by default here. What do you want channel? You want name? You want channel and frequency? Uh, you can set the color of your lights. You can turn the FM radio ability on and off. Uh, you can set the uh, the voice announcement on or off. So there's a lot of other things that you can set inside this uh, this optional features. Now to get this new memory channel back in the radio you have to uh, write it. Now you can either use this uh, icon or control W or write and I'm going to write. and you get this little pop-up window and there you go I have successfully transferred this new repeater into the radio alright